Three, unanimous, Article 6 of the Northwest Territory. First state to abolish slavery, Vermont, 1777, inspired by the writings of the Declaration. First anti-slavery convention, 1775, chaired by Benjamin Franklin. When is slavery? But George Washington United said States? it's not a matter, it's not a question of if. It's a matter of when we abolish slavery. When Thomas Jefferson admonished King George in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence, that means very saying little. that slavery is a great evil that we blame King George he for. Was also very Thomas angry. Jefferson abolished he was also very angry the slave trade into a. Hold on a second. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Kirk destroys transgender Marxist activist. This is going to be amazing. I will always check this video out together. Let's get right to today's video. Look, are we going to ignore the fact that the founding fathers were incredibly racist? Do you think that they oh, were? Oh, like, okay. So you think they were racist? Of course they were racist. So then, why did they try where, to abolish where did slavery? Where George Washington get his teeth? Okay, so how many states decided to no, make no, the no, Northwest I actually, Territories? Answer this question. Answer this question. Where did George Washington get his teeth? They were blended individuals, no doubt, mixed. But you know what you and I both have in common? No, no. I want to answer the question because I want to make sure that your audience knows I, I exactly would assume where that they, George he probably Washington got, got them. His teeth. So to make him look bad, you're going to say he got him from a slave or he exploited somebody. But here's the here's the truth about he George Washington. He ripped teeth out of people's heads while they were alive. Here, he ripped teeth out of people's heads. Here's the truth about George Washington. To put in his mouth. Outside of your Nicole Hannah Jones highly emotive argument, everybody has something in common. We're born into a world we didn't create, and every one of these founding fathers. We're born into a world where slavery was everywhere. By the time they died, it was on its way out. Do you know That's what Thomas Paine said about moral slavery? moral good. It wasn't on its way out when they were all dead. Hold on a second. How many states abolished slavery by the time the Constitution you know was... Paine how many states abolished slavery? slavery by 1787? Nine out of 13. So okay. a majority of states had already abolished it. Northwest Territories... Why did they structure not, the Constitution hold on. in such a way to give One slave second. states more representation? Happy to walk through it. How Northwest Territories, first act of Congress, free or slave, slave, slave area? Free. Unanimous. Article 6 of the Northwest Territory. First state to abolish slavery. Vermont, 1777. Inspired by the writings of the Declaration. First anti-slavery convention. 1775. Chaired by Benjamin Franklin. When is slavery? But George Washington United said States? it's not a matter. It's not a question of if. It's a matter of when we abolish slavery. When Thomas is, Jefferson admonished King George in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence. That means very Saying little. that slavery is a great evil that we blame King George he for. He was also very Thomas angry. Jefferson abolished also very angry the slave trade into a... Hold on a second. For telling them they couldn't One keep second. killing indigenous folks. Thomas Jefferson said very clearly in the, the Virginia House of Commons in 1790 that we must abolish slavery. He abolished the importation of new slaves as one of his first act of president in March of 1807. The founding fathers fought you tooth and nail as a result to of abolish policy. slavery. So you have a misrepresentation, an you know, intentional you know what polemical as a argument of that? to try to misrepresent the great heroes of the founding fathers. When they banned the importation of slaves, what happened? What ended up happening was the slave trade went down, Eli Whitney creates the cotton gin, and a whole new debate of slavery gets reignited. No, see, that's actually not true, right? The reality well, is, do you know what happened? happened? The slave trade, I guess, went down, if you're talking about international trade. The United States up set up literal farms where human beings were bred. Human beings were bred no, and no, no. forced S to Slavery was going down dramatically in the 18-teens. slavery. 18 teens, it's going down. Nine out of 13 states wait, wait, that abolished it. Wait, you were talking it. about the 1770s, North, and now all of a sudden no, no, we're at the 18 hey, teens. Hey, guess what? We just guess what? Guess what? Years. Thomas Jefferson was president in 1807. So you got to get your ears right, okay, before we talk about this. So he was sworn in in March of 1807. He was governor of Virginia in 1790. Wrote the declaration in 1776. So when did slavery end in the United States? Great question. It began to end in 1777, a process of decoupling from an ancestral evil where we have more people in the world right now that are, in sla that are slaves today than back then. The process began 1820s, the debate reignites because of John C. Calhoun, the creation of the cotton gin. We fight a war over it. We win the war and slavery is abolished. That's a pretty awesome track record for a country that inherited an evil that every other country prior to it had. It was the West that got rid of slavery. It was William Wilberforce. It was John Edwards. It was George Whitfield. It's easy to kind of do your thing like, well, it's terrible. It's bad. Yes, it's easy to slavery call balls and strikes not. on a society you didn't create. The it's United easy <laughs> to try to lecture the rest of the country be like, you know, these people are so terrible for something you didn't toil for or sacrifice for. Have they an ounce toil. of gratitude they, they were for what owners. these people they created and the country you it get to live in. America has no sense, neither has any other country has sense. You understand? So the, the sense of or the history or the track record of what America have done in history is bad. But the people, the current people who are living right now in America never, never committed such acts. So they can be punished for an act that they were not alive when it was committed. They were not even born by that time. So it, the, the history of America is really deep. And if you read it, uh, look into it, George Washington, like you feel like crying. Like you feel like crying at what they did to, um, 
not only black people, also other countries too, was terrible. It was really, really terrible because it taught me this in school. And I felt I felt really pained. I felt like this people are, people who did this to black people and also all that races that enslaved them and put them in chains and like they would just treat them they treat them really, really bad. These people are really terrible. They are very, very terrible. And I, I despised America because of that for, for a certain period of time. Once I discovered that it was my own people who were selling us, let me use the word us, to, to the Western world. My own people would betray us and sell us out to the Western world for them to capture us and give my own people, I think, tobacco and money. That is, that is what they change for their own brothers. So it was the act committed by my own fellow black Africans. They were part of the process. They were actually part of the process of the slavery. They kidnapped people. They, they, they did a lot of terrible things. So they were part of the slavery process to keep on going on. In the um, 16th century, 17th century, they were part of it. It's 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 a very very terrible art. Like whenever I think about it, whenever I think about what my people did by selling us out to slave owners, I, I feel like crying. I feel like okay, America has part of it, part in the slavery aspect, but my own Afri black Africans have major part in the process that happened. You understand? It's it's really really terrible. Uh, seeing this um, transgender masses talking. The guy is a very clever person and someone who knows about history. And no matter what, um, Charlie will try to convince him that um, America, they are trying to try to stop slavery. Just that the act has been committed. You cannot erase history. And that is exactly what the boy is trying to tell Charlie. But at the same time, America is, for, for them to have the change of heart to abolish it quick, before other Western countries started doing their ass, it's 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 speak a lot about America. You understand? It really speak a lot about them that they that they really want change in their country and something much better. <sighs> Comment down below think about this video. I'm sorry if you can't hear my pronunciation properly. Please pardon me and forgive me. I'm trying my serious best to to buck up on my pronunciation. Um, subscribe to China. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore